The sample project ZEN3301, that is also on the CD as a backup, was adapted to the client-server architecture and was renamed ZEN3301VS. The OS client and OS server are loaded and started. The SIMATIC batch applications are created in the PC stations. The first step involves specifying the types of the objects relevant to SIMATIC batch in the SIMATIC manager. This is done in the Properties dialog of each batch object. First, the Kitchen folder is marked as a process cell. The Kitchen folder is now shown in green to indicate it is a SIMATIC batch batch object. Before the existing units can be assigned to unit classes, the unit classes must be defined. The unit classes oven, desk, pan, and pot need to be defined. The necessary unit classes have been defined and are now available for use. In the next step, the units and equipment modules are assigned to Sematic Batch. This is done in the Properties dialog of the relevant folders in the plant hierarchy. We would like to show you a classification based on the example of the Oven unit and its Drain equipment module. The Properties dialog of the Oven folder is opened and the object type of unit is set. The unit type is now Oven. The Drain folder is now specified as an ISA S88 equipment module. All other settings are made in the same way. The batch related folders are now displayed in green. In the next step, the SFC types that are already created in Sematic Manager are defined as Equipment Phases EPH for use in Sematic Batch. This assignment is made in the Component View. The Properties dialog of each SFC type is opened and the Category Equipment Phase, or EPH, is set. A further SFC type category that is available for selection is the Equipment Operation, or EOP. This ensures conformity with ISA S88. The difference between the two is that an EOP is linked to a recipe operation in hierarchical recipes, and an EPH is linked to a recipe phase. In general, the scope of an EOP is more extensive and more complex than an EPH. Creating recipes using EPHs allows greater flexibility. EOPs are useful when the equipment functionality is fixed. In the Control Strategy Selection area, you can select the control strategies relevant to Sematic Batch. Normally, the setting is All, which is also the default. All the attributes for the objects relevant for Sematic Batch are now set. In this section, we will generate the batch type's type descriptions compile and download the batch process cell data, and compile the system alarm texts in the OS. The first step is to generate the process cell type descriptions. These will be the recipe building blocks. You have already seen this dialog during the definition of unit classes. Generation of the type descriptions is started and completed without errors or warnings. 
To compile the batch process cell data, the batch instances icon is selected and the compile button pushed. The compilation was completed without errors or warnings. Following compilation, the system messages are now compiled from Sematic Batch to the OS. Following this transfer, the last step is to download the batch process cell data to the batch server and client. After checking which data needs to be updated with the download, the download is started by clicking the Start button. The download was completed successfully. Following the download, recipes can be created, tested, and batches created without needing to access the engineering database. This completes all the work necessary in the Sematic PCS7 engineering system.